see what a beautiful environment this is for the people and the tourists of Zurich. And the beautiful, well cared for flower beds and the lovely smell that comes from them. Just a lovely raised esplanade of these. I think, again, they, I'm not sure if they're linden trees or not, but they're carefully manicured so that they give this uh, crown effect at this height. This is by convention, by tradition. This is interesting. It's some kind of a sundial. Equatorial Sanur. You can see the Roman numeral numbers here. And then further numbers in there, maybe from this side, we get to see what time it is. Well, that would seem to suggest that it's 12. <laughs> This set in a nice little park area, right at what looks like a bend in the shoreline. As I've said before, it's parks that to me define a city, define its soul, if you will. And park art like this, leave your mind, or the minds of all of us in various forms of various predilections to interpret. Did the artist have something in mind? The taxi boat but it's a pretty little boat. I think it'd be a lovely boat to own on a lake like this. Particularly if you outfitted it or something similar to it with a small kitchen and some way to sleep. It's a very pretty little boat. Another view of this park-like quay or promenade area. A rougher area along the water. Huh, what a lifestyle. Huh. Large stones. Reminds me of places I've seen that were connected with Rome had stones of this magnitude and their walkways or roads. Looking back up at Zurich, but basically more interested in the stand of four large trees. I think those are elms. But what a lovely area that they have developed. <laughs> Their swans and their signets. Morning grooming. I'm guessing this laid back statue says it all about this park. I'm looking for the Chinese park, and that seems to suggest it's it, although I didn't think I'd gotten this far this fast. A large play area for kids. This is it, but sadly it's closed, or appears to be. You certainly can enjoy the unique architecture and the spectacular colorings of Chinese temples. get to see this pretty garden. of the building get a little hint of what 
grandeur there were and or is on these buildings if we could only get in and look at them. Makes me nostalgic for China. I've forgotten how much I enjoyed what I saw over there. This is a large fountain in the park, dated 1808 to 1854. Why the time span when it's still functioning, I don't know. Except that maybe it's been remodeled since then. It runs continuous. Wonder what they do with the water. I don't know whether these trees are covered with some kind of vine or just grow out like that. I suspect it's the former. In fact, as you see, one's climbing up that middle. It hides a very pretty water feature, including benches to sit on. Isn't that nice? Backdrop by a, another water closet. This pretty. See if I can go down and walk around without falling in. It appears to be the purpose, so guess what? I'll go disturb those ducks. Reminds me of a little kid in India whose dad was teaching him how to walk across these things safely. They were a little bit farther apart. Those ducks remained right where they are. They looked at me and were slightly hesitant, but otherwise just ignored me. This is a water taxi. I don't know how often it comes. So I'm now at number 10, or Zurichorn, which is right here. You can see where China Garden is, just above it. We'll wander about and hope that somehow, by a miracle, I can get a taxi back and save the walk as well as get an interesting experience. This apparently is Allianz Cinema. So I'm guessing, as you can see from those risers, that whole platform lifts up to become a screen. I imagine they do novel things with that. Oh, this reminds me of the Greek theaters where there was special seats for the mucky mucks and for the peons, <laughs> like me. Another dramatic lady, I guess. If you read the literature on Wiki, on the Zuckerhorn Park, I believe this must be the river that cut its way through, apparently, lava bed to Zurich Lake and created this whole delta that is called Zurichhorn that we've been wandering about, including Chinatown. This is a pretty and a very interesting water feature. This large sphere just spinning continuously inside that rock. Now, it looks like it stays exactly the same. So I wonder if there's some mechanism underneath it that causes it to turn, or whether it's the water that might cause it to turn, which is what the illusion is that it creates. across the lake. Interesting water feature, if that's what it is. Yes, it is. Long distance view of Zurich. 